Vielleicht sieht es gar nicht so schön aus. Der hat ganz rote Augen, weil er nie ist. I haven't been in Berlin for a while, so how are you guys uh, feeling in the city again? Um, yeah, it's it's great to be here because um, um, we like Berlin a lot, so um, it's been a while, but it, yeah, it feels good to be back. I know you are not fans of labeling everything, but can you please try to describe this new sound of Tokyo Hotel on the new album, Kings of Suburbia? Is that bothering? Should we... St no? no? no, no okay. Not. Okay. Um, um, well, the new sound of the album is, um, it's a lot more electronic because, um, you know, we, t we took a while off and we've been, uh, influenced a lot by the, by the club scene and, and the nightlife in LA. Um, so we just like partied a lot. We've been, we've been out a lot. So I guess that was a big, uh, inspiration and, um, yeah. I mean, it's 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 way different from like the stuff we've um, we've done before. So it's a lot different than you know the albums before. And I, you know, I guess it was just important for us to, you know, take a take take some time off to like really see what kind of you know music we wanna we wanna make and to get new inspiration. And um, we're like totally happy with it. Is it hard to make live arrangements for the new songs with this more electronic sound? Um, I mean, it's um, we have to like uh, find ways, but um, I'm pretty sure. It, I, I mean, the thing we the things we did so far turned out really great, yeah. and um, yeah, yeah. I mean, uh, so we prepared some acoustic versions of the songs right now because we're gonna we're gonna perform acoustic in in France. We have a couple of radio shows and, and stuff like that. So, and it's it's different, but it's it's easy. It works well. I mean, we created a whole different versions of the song. And actually, it's fun because it's uh, like, all, you know, the full production is like whole electronic. It's uh, a lot of synthesizers, a lot of programming. And to put that in an acoustic set, is, it's, it's a challenge, but it's great. I mean, it, we worked out some really nice versions. So, yeah. Okay, now I want to ask you about the newest uh, video, music video for the first single, official single, Love Who Loves You Back. Uh, it was like... For the fans, it was very exciting, but at the same time, it was uh, quite surprising because of the, its, let's say, sexual erotic content. Uh, what's uh, what was your point? Uh, do you want it? To, do you want them to treat it like very seriously, or rather, with a blink of an eye, uh, more like for fun? I mean, I guess you can take it however you want, you know, so, um, like, even with the, the lyrics and the videos and everything, I think, you know, you can, you know, use your imagination and have your own story for it, but, I mean, I guess the, the you know, what the song says is that, that, you know, love has no label and no boundaries, like, you, you know, love is just that one big and nice thing we can control, so, um, I think you don't have, you know, any control over it. So you you can control who you fall in love with and who you want to be with. It's just, you know, what it is. And I think it's a nice thing and that's what we wanted to show in the video. You know, it's not you know, it's not about gender, it's not about religion. Um it's just about love and um you know, that's the that's the point, that's the message of the video and I I believe in that and I um I live that and I guess everyone does. So um Yeah, that's that's the message behind it. And staying at the topic of love, uh, my question is, what do you love the most about being an artist? I love that I can do whatever I want. Like, you know, creative-wise and, you know, with fashion and, and music and decisions and everything. I, like, I love the freedom about it. Um, that was, like, always... You know, I can't imagine to do another job, you know, and, and we're so grateful that we can do what we love because, you know, so many people can and they have like a shitty job they don't like. And, you know, we are so blessed and happy that we can actually do what we love, you know. So it's like in your uh, Tokyo Hotel TV, uh, you show that uh, being passionate is the shit. And yeah. yeah. That's what you do. Yeah, because I think, you know, you can only be successful when you, um, uh, even with, you know, music and art, if, if it's the stuff you really want to do, you know. So that's what we also did with the album. Like, we didn't want to, like, fulfill something people expect or people want to hear. We just wanted to do what we think is cool and what we love and what we think sounds 
sounds good and right and um, just the things we're passionate about. I think that's the most, you know, the most important thing. Your last European tour started in February. So what do you think about touring in winter, keeping the fact in mind about the devoted fans standing in front of the venue? So what are your plans uh, of touring, time, yeah. and I think you know. I think we're gonna start in um, um, spring next year. I think in spring we're gonna play the first shows, and then uh, of course we're gonna play like throughout the year. So I think we're gonna play the whole year. So I mean, we don't have like specific you know dates and plans yet, but we definitely want to tour the whole year. So we're gonna you know we're gonna tour in every season, I guess. Yeah. So. Hey, we are Tokyo Ta, and we want to thank everyone in Poland for the um, support. Thank you guys so much. Um, it means the world to us, and we can't wait to see you guys. Thank you.